Hey guys, Chris Camino. New look Hooters, new look Braves. If you haven't been in the Hooters, make sure you get there. Refurbished bars, more flat screen TVs. The Hooters girls are still there. More beer choices, more menu choices, I promise. Your next trip to Hooters, if you haven't been in a while, it's going to be fantastic. Make it a habit. All right, uh, let's talk about Eric Young Jr. He'll turn 30 in May, and here's the deal on him. The Braves signed him to a minor league contract. Why? Because they're looking for people who might actually fill the left field spot. Eric Young Jr. has got 1,400 at-bats or so in a major league. His dad was a major league player, Eric Young. Matter of fact, a pretty good player. He has a skill. He's fast. Eight home runs and 1,400 at-bats will tell you it's not about power. It's not even about average. Strikeout to walk ratio, not bad at 2-1. to one. But now it's time to find out on a minor league deal turning 30, can Eric Young Jr. be an answer to what's held the Braves at times the last few years? Not enough team speed. It's going to be an interesting battle. He is now thrown into the mix. He thinks at 29 turning 30, and I know the young man, he thinks he still has a couple of years left. The question is, can he get enough at-bats in a system that will now maybe look to run? That's the big question. Not guaranteed to make the team, but it will be interesting to watch that fight for the left field spot, like the second base spot, like a couple of other things that are going on with this team. Eric Young Jr., he's a professional. Eric Young Jr., what does he have left? Nobody really knows, but the Braves are willing to give him a shot down in Orlando to find out if he can be one of those other veteran voices and veteran pieces that maybe they've lacked for the last couple of years.